Hey guys, and welcome to a Titan Tries. We have not actually done this for a little while, have we? It's, uh, yeah, been a few weeks. Mainly because of time. Time is uh, my arch nemesis. Anyway, um, I did manage a few weeks ago now to pick up one of these 8-bit do uh, wireless uh, control pads, Mega Drive control pads, and this thing is amazing. So, this actually made me want to go back to um, my Mega Drive and uh, Math System days. Now, unfortunately, I did dig out my Mega Drive, and it was screwed beyond recognition. So, but we have emulators. Uh, I do have my Model One, no Model Two Master System over there as well. Uh, but I can't find the uh, power cable to it or the control pad. So we're going to use emulators for the 8-bit and 16-bit. Now I grew up with more Sega stuff. I didn't really have a Nintendo system back in the day. Uh, I think over my mum's we had a NES and I used to play Kirby and Mario a lot, but that was pretty much it. But primarily I was a Sega kid, so I don't really care for Nintendo. They're okay. I don't mind them. I spent the entirety of yesterday building Labo and playing the Switch VR. I shall insert a clip of that here. You built it, mate. How can you break it? <laughs> well, you know, this is engineered by me. Benny! Oh, I'm right in the face. Oh, son of a bitch is dropping shit on me. <laughs> he came in for a kiss, he did. Oh, I want a VR headset. These are so cool. Alright. Try it. Try it yourself. Yeah. Interesting stuff. Anyway, guys, let's get into it. So today, we are going to be playing an old favourite of mine. At least, I kind of remember it being an old favourite of mine. Um, whether it actually is still good, I don't know. But we're going to be playing Air Rescue. Now, <sighs> Air Rescue was a kind of clone of Choplifter. Uh, it's not very long. I think it's only like five levels. And I used to be able to complete this quite easily as a kid. I don't remember there being a difficulty choice. This is kind of interesting. But we have normal or hard. We're going to go normal just because it's been, oh, I don't know, 25 years. So we're going to go with normal. Um, now, interestingly, on that start screen there, it said push start. But start doesn't do anything. You actually have to push one. I don't know why. Uh, now, this was actually in the arcades called Air Rescue as well. But in the arcades, it was a totally different game. It was more militaristic. And uh, it was a first-person, uh, almost pseudo 3D game. Whereas this, it's just kind of like a Choplifter clone. But anyway, let's, let's get back into it. See if it's any good. Um, let's have a go. Oh, hell. Round one, dangerous holiday. Dangerous holiday. Ooh, that sounds uh, fan dabby dozy. Oh yeah, it gives you like uh, a flavor of the map on. Uh, yeah, on e on the start of each mission. I remember that. So here we go. We have a time limit. Time limit is different on every level. I think there's only five levels. Um, next to that, we have a skeleton, as I always used to think they were, but, uh, they're not skeletons, they're people, they're the people we have to rescue. Uh, we have to rescue seven on this level. And the medal next to it is how many, uh, people we have rescued. I think, I think if I remember the difficulty, the only real difference on that is there's slightly more enemies. And I think you have to rescue more people, maybe? It's something very basic like that. One shot and you're dead. You do have weapons. Um, the The controls of the helicopter are really weird because the helicopter has momentum. So you have to be very careful. In fact, the helicopter actually controls like ass. We do have a weapon. We have bombs. And I think if we go down here... Yeah, we can actually switch weapons. So we can have a machine gun and we can have bombs. But like they're both different. Um, good against different enemies. We also have like a rifle and like a nuke, but 
Uh, they don't s like they don't seem to do anything differently. Yeah, there's like no difference between them. Like I don't know. See, selecting that just gives us the bomb. So I don't know. Anyway, we're gonna roll the machine gun for the first level. Let's go have a little look around. Oh, hello. Yeah, these weird. Orbs, I remember those. They used to freak me out when I was a kid. I used to be scared of everything. Um, if we touch those, we die. There's a crazy car down there. We're not going to fuck with him. So he'd probably uh, rip our nipples off if we get too close. Yeah, there we go. Thread that needle. Oh, hey, pal. Oof, 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 oof. So button one fires your gun. It doesn't always work. This is important. Your gun doesn't always work. Why? I don't know. I assume it's to do with uh, CPU cycles or the way the, the game is programmed. But if there's too much going on on the screen, your gun doesn't work. This is important because you will die because of this. Uh, and button two drops down the ladder. So let's go fetch our skeletons. We can only... Ooh, fuck. If we even touch anything, we die. Um... We can only hold four people at once, so if we want to like min-max and try and save everybody, which, eh, for the purpose of this, I, I don't know, maybe I will. Uh, we need to manage it very carefully, like we've got two at the moment. So I'm going to drop those two off. We could have picked up another two, but eh, so you see now we only have five people left to save. Alright, now as soon as you save enough people... The mission is over, which is where you have to try and like min-max everything if you want to go for points. But we're not really going to go for points. We're just going to play the game and see what it's like. And we have some more skeleton friends. They're trapped on the Ferris wheel. Haha, -ha, Ferris wheel of doom. Now you can see these soldiers over here. Yeah, as soon as they like fire any... Oh, fuck, we've got one of those dudes as well. As soon as they fire like any shots, the game just lags. I don't... Oh, God. Okay, that was close. I don't know what kind of arc these guys have. Now that beeping is indicating oof, that we are maxed out on our carrying capacity. So let's get back anyway. So if you're familiar with Choplifter, you can really see the similarities of it. And this 8-bit this do feels fantastic. It's so nice to actually play this with a proper control pad. But a proper wireless control pad as well. Alright, get out of here, you bastards. So we've got like one left to save. But there's no point going back and just grabbing one guy. We might as well grab as many as we can for bonus points. Because that's what these games are always about. Like I say, I'm not going to do this on like all the levels. Because some of the levels are really hard. And I hope you like that music. Because as far as I can remember, that's the only music in the game. So yeah, enjoy that. As the master system goes, it's it's not too bad. Right, can we thread the fucking needle? Ooh, ooh. All right, we've got this. We've got this. I think it's so hard to judge because of the momentum, but eh, we're going to see what we can do. This game's quite generous with its lives and whatnot. Come on, baby. Come on. Come on. There we go. Touchdown. Now, if they can get to us... All we have to do is touch down, and they will automatically, like, come back to us. Otherwise, we've got to cherry pick them out with the, the rope ladder. Get in, boy. Right, let's go. Uh, yep. 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 Okay. And I've just realized I've, like, done all of this so far without the music on. Because I'm so used to recording my consoles. Well, the good news is you haven't really missed anything because what you can hear now is all the music and that as well. That gum. Okay. Boy, I'm stupid. But you already... Ooh, fuck. But you already knew that. So it's fine. Alright. Now, easy does it. Easy does it. Easy does it. Yeah, I forgot I, I had this set up for my PlayStation 4, not my PC. Nice. So that's the first level complete. Supreme victory. Yeah, I don't know if you uh, unlock any extra lives or anything like that due to points. I'm going to assume you do. So we've got next round two. 
Firestorm. Yes. So save people from the burning building. Okay. This is where things start getting a little bit more difficult. The game kind of scales its difficulty fairly well. I think it's not too bad. Uh, we're definitely going to want the machine gun for this level. Ah, uh, this entire level lags like bastards. I don't know why there's very angry soldiers throwing plant pots out of this uh, burning building. And hammers as well, by the look of things. It's almost like they don't want you to rescue them. They're just quite content with life, you know. They're happy to just burn to death in the skyscraper. That's fine, you know. If that's the way they want to end their miserable lives, that's fine by me. Now up here there's two helicopters. Now this is, as you can see... Alright, oh, I, I don't know how well I can show this, because you kind of need to move whilst it's going on. But you can see, like, the gun is barely working here. And that... Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> I didn't even see that flame. The gun is barely working here, and that is a huge problem. And you can see just how slow this level is. Right, we want the machine gun. What's more we're feeling, guys? Yeah, if you die, you just have to, like, restart the level again, which is a little bit of an ass, but never mind. Now, where's that helicopter? There it is. Right. Bit of aerial combat for the win there. Hey, buddy. Yeah, nope, 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 nope. Oh. That didn't work out very well, did it? Okay, we literally, like, have one life left. I'm kind of hoping we're not going to go out on the first level, or the second level, I think. Alright, let's cherry pick these guys out. No, we're fine. We're fine. And one second, guys. I think we're about to get interrupted. Maybe not. I don't know. Um, okay. Right, let's go for the helicopters again. Come on, you bastards. The controls do take some getting used to. And, uh, my god. Like, the lag as well. The lag takes some getting used to. Alright, right now, let's go find some soldiers. They're not actually soldiers. These guys apparently are meant to be like world leaders or something. Uh, something about negotiating a world peace treaty. Uh, world peace, I should say. And then these terrorists. I can't remember what they're called. Like, like the League of something. Um, I've kind of had other ideas, you know? So I don't feel too bad for these guys. They are just world leaders, so in my opinion, they're expendable. Now let's go down. All right. So I think what we're going to do next is pick up. Let's pick up two people. Now there are some guys on this level that I don't know how to get. All right. Let's grab you, buddy. And let's grab you. I don't know why they're just dropping plant pots on us. That seems very like inconvenient. Surely they could have, like, machine guns or rocket launchers or anything like that. But no, they have plant pots. I suppose guns cost money at the end of the day. That is a little bit awkward for a terrorist organization. Unless you're gov- Ooh, no! Ooh. Okay, that's as close as it gets, boys. That's as close as it gets. All right, come here, you little dickhead. There we are. Yeah, come on. There we are, nice. Nice. Yeah, guns and munitions cost money unless um, one of the Western nations is just handing you weapons, you know? Which does happen. And the dog's getting fucking nuts, which you might be over here. Right. Uh, let's be careful now. Now, he. I don't know how to get that guy. I've. I just always remember dying on that guy. I don't think I ever managed to get him. Um, so unfortunately, my friend, you're going to have to burn to death. Um, I hope you don't find that too awkward. Right, let's go down. Here we go. Okay. Oh, we managed to save an extra guy, I suppose. It's better than nothing. Alright. So, let's move on to... Are we on the third mission? Ah, this mission can be an obed. Countdown. Yeah, it sounds very dramatic. Uh, it's not really that dramatic. But we have um, an airport. How exciting. Kind of makes sense, I suppose, if you think about it. Right, anyway. Let's get up. 
Ooh, yeah, we've got the machine gun to start with. Uh, yeah, let's keep the machine gun. Sega Airlines, huh? Damn. I would not want to be flying Sega Airlines, I'm just saying. With all the mistakes they made in the 90s, probably not worth it. Oh, balls, this is a tank. Let's be careful here. Hey, friendo. Oh, did you just go... Can we... Oh, okay. <laughs> we can just, like, destroy him with one of our beach balls. Come on, guys. I'm assuming this gun's firing beach balls. I'm not 100% sure. It makes sense. I mean, it, well, no, it doesn't make sense. I'm lying to all of you. But they look like beach balls. Maybe they're golf balls, actually. That could make sense. Oh, damn, look at that plane exploding. Stuff does seem to just get damaged over time, which is kind of curious. Ooh, we've got, ooh, God, we've got SAM launchers. Although they look like flying trash cans, which is a little bit awkward. Not really afraid of flying trash cans. Although maybe we should be, you know? All right, let's grab these dudes and get the fuck out of here. All right, boys. Ooh, I do not like those electric dudes. One hit from those, and it's game over, man. Game over. All right. Nice. Okay, cool. So we've got three more dudes to rescue. I don't know how many men are on this level. But I'm sure we're going to find out. I mean, visually, like, for the Master System, it's all right, you know? It's not bad. The Master System was way more powerful than the, um, the NES. But... I don't think it quite had the iconic games that the NES had, you know, there's no no Mario or anything like that. There were good games on it, like, ooh, ooh, fuck, thought it was going to come in too heavy then. There were good games on it, like, um, uh, Sonic, obviously, we had uh, lots of ports of uh, Mega Drive games, interestingly enough, like, oh no, we've gone. Yeah, there was loads of uh, Mega Drive ports, which were severely downgraded, which was really weird, because, like, whatever came out for the Mega Drive, or Genesis, depending on where you are in the world, also came out for the Master System. Now, the Master System was actually really popular in um, in Europe. It didn't really get any traction in, in the States, but in Europe, the Master System was huge. In fact, a lot of Americans don't even, like, really know the Master System existed. But it definitely had a lot of great games. Many of which uh, I hope to show off. Alright. But the Master System was the first console that, that was actually mine. Um, and then I went on to the Mega Drive from there. And then on from the Mega Drive, where did I go? From the Mega Drive, I kind of went into PC gaming and uh, PlayStation. I went to PlayStation and then PC. And then Dreamcast, then original Xbox. Uh, where did I go from the original Xbox? Oh, Xbox 360. Xbox 360 was the first machine I brought my own money. Uh, and then we went to... I had a PlayStation 3 as well, but eh, like I wasn't that into it. Then I went for my PlayStation 4, then I had my PlayStation 4 Pro, and then I had my Xbox One X, and that brings us to current days. Alright, get in, boys. Okay, so we've got like three now, which is nice. Ah, technically we could actually end the level now, I suppose, which might be a good idea. Ugh. Because I do want to just show off. Ah, that was stupid. Do you just want to show off as much of this game as I can? See if we can complete it. I mean, there was a couple more dudes back there, but nobody cares about them. Right. Touchdown. Let these skeletons out. Nice. Yeah, I don't think we are going to get any extra lives or anything like that, which is a bit unfortunate. Hmm. Oh, this level's a dick. Round four. Panic Ocean. I like the names of these rounds. Panic Ocean, though. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to cheese this level. There is, a, there is like a cheese way of doing it. Because this is where the game takes off the training wheels. We're going to want that, I think. If you go anywhere near the center of the map, where the, the sinking ship is, sinking ship, um, you will die. 
You will die. And we've got like a little Sienna type plane here. Or Cessna or whatever they're called. Like dropping parachute bombs, which tickles me in all the right places. Let's see, we've got lots of skeleton. Oh no, there's another one. Oh god, those AA guns hurt. Right, we want to get rid of you. I think they're quite slow firing. I guess we're going to find out. Yeah, that's cool. Whew. Alright. Cool, let's go uh, collect up some dudes. So we're on like... We've got six dudes to, to save. That's not that bad, to be honest. Um, are you going to get in, my friend? Thank you. I was going to say. Take the lift or don't, my friend. Oh, actually, before we take off, is there any more turrets or anything we can destroy? There is. We don't want to come in heavy and get hammered. Alright, nice. All right, let's get out of here. Yeah, so if we go near the sinking ship, there are enemies with rocket launchers, and the rockets home in on you, and there's a lot of them. Man, I'm. this stuff has really burned into my brain, actually. Also, the music is different, I think. I can't really tell, to be honest. I thought it was all the same, but it might all be the same. I might just be delirious. I could very well be delirious. Okay, right, let's go save up the last two guys. And then we're on the last level. Wait, is there five levels? There's six, I can't remember. All right, we only need these two dudes. But we can get those dudes as well. Might as well, I suppose. Oh, no, there's the... Yeah, there's those rocket launchers. They are freaking... Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, dear. Dear, oh, dear. We just got roasted, and I just pulled out my bloody headphone cable. Because, of course I did. Because what would it be? Would it be one of my videos if there wasn't some kind of glaring technical problem? I mean, you at least get one for your money. You might as well have two. I mean, we had no audio in the beginning, and now we've got that. All right, let's grab that. Okay. Machine gun. Okay, right. They look like they're dropping, I don't know, like, um, ice picks or something. Or, or not ice picks, what do you call them? Pickaxes, thank you. Brain engaged there at the last second. Ooh, the lag, the slowdown is so extreme. Alright, that's fine. So anyway, you can see, like, the base strat for this level. Alright, come here, my friend. Come on. Your chariot awaits, sir. Your chariot awaits. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. There we go. Get in, sir. Get the hell in. Come with me if you want to live. Uh, although, I should say, survival is not guaranteed. Because we might get shot out of the sky. And then you will have a, a, a horrible, terrible, fiery death. You understand. Alright, get in. Nice. I think on each level you get more lives. That seems to be what's going on. Because I'm sure you get continues. I thought you only had three lives, but maybe they refresh each level. I'm not sure. It's been 20 something years. 25 years, I guess. Alright, careful. 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 Now, there are actually two models of the, the Master System. There's the Master System 2 that pretty much like everybody knows. Oh, you dick. I knew he was there. Oh, there we go. Game over. But I'm sure... Oh, we got four credits. Okay, yeah, we're good. Oh, we should be able to complete this level. We should be able to complete this game, to be honest. Um, we got to destroy that guy with a rocket launcher. I don't know how we're going to do that. Can't really get close to him. Oh, you tosser. Get out of my air. Get out of my airspace, you damn noob. I don't know why I'm calling him a noob. I'm the one that's getting flamed here. Alright. Oh, 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 oh. oh, if only those pickaxes destroyed their own uh, equipment, that would be cool. Alright, going down. Yep, the gun was not working that. At least you can get under the arc of these guns, which is quite nice. Alright, baby. Alright, baby. Alright. Alright, set her down. Nice. Now, I don't know how I'm going to cherry pick that guy out. Yeah, we've got... Okay, we've got the gun turrets there. Is there a way? Um... We might have to come back here with a different weapon, maybe. 
See if we can mortar his ass. Or drop bombs on his ass, I should say. We'll figure it out. I didn't even touch anything. You saw that. I didn't even touch anything. Like, legit. Um, you know what? Let's take this. See if we can... Oh. Yeah, okay. We definitely want the machine guns. We've learned something here today, guys. We want the machine guns. Come on. There we go. Uh, how many pickaxes can you fit in one of those planes? And why are the pickaxes bigger than the planes? What is going on? What is this? This this madness? All this nonsense here. Right, okay. I am confident we can complete this, guys. I mean... I'm not saying we are. I'm just confident that we are. Right, get in, guys. There's actually two guys there. I just realised that. Alright, let's destroy these gun turrets. Come on, get in, you stupid skeleton. Oh, for God's sakes. Get in. Alright, nice. Okay. Um, max capacity. Let's get out of here. Alright. Now... Carefully does it. Yeah, if you even graze anything, you're dead. It's not pretty. Cool. Let's get the fuck out of here. I'm also getting the fuck out of here. Oh, actually. Yeah, let's get the... The bombs. Oh, shit. I can't believe we survived that. I'm just going to get on record and say, I cannot believe we survived that. Right, let's go for the bombs. Now, now all we've got to do is try and get the arc right. Oh, boy. Okay. Now, I don't know what kind of range that rocket has. Yeah, see, see what I mean? Can you see how hard that is? Game over again. I can't remember how we get this guy. Because you can see the uh, the actual homing uh, ability of that weapon. It's, it's bullshit. I actually maintain that this is the hardest mission. Oh, fuck. Very lucky there. This is the hardest mission of the game. I don't think the next level is this hard. To be honest. But I am confident. My confidence is waning a little bit. I'm not going to lie. But I, I think we've still got a chance. Okay, go down. Oof. There is some horrible bits in the next mission. But we'll cover those when we get to them. Okay, so two. I think we're just leave all of the other guys. We just collect those two guys. We call it a day. Alright. We, we're definitely not fucking with that guy with the rocket launcher. I mean, there probably is like an, uh, an MLG, like pro way of doing it, but hell if I know. So we're just going to save the people we need. Everyone else can burn to death. Whoa. We're taking rounds. I don't know where we're taking rounds from. Probably that guy there. I suppose if you're just going for the uh, bare minimum needed to finish the mission. It's actually really bloody easy, I suppose. We wasted way too many lives on that. Okay, let's set her down. Come on, coming in heavy. There we go. Beautiful. Would have been beautiful if we didn't fuck that up so much. But details, details. No bonus for us today. Now, this is the last level. Round 5. Breakdown Dark Star. Breakdown Dark Star. That's so, like, hardcore. I don't understand. There's the map. <sighs> oh, that's interesting. It's actually showing us the enemies destroyed. Now, we're going to want the bombs. We're going to want the bombs here. I want to kind of, like, select those. Like, I... Hang on, hang on, hang on. 
Hang on, boys. Okay, so those bombs are actually different. That's kind of interesting. Alright. Well, we've got to save seven dudes, and you can see the frame rate here is AIDS. Which does not make this easy. Come on, baby. Come on. Open for daddy. There we go. Right, let's go in. Slider in. Beautiful. Oh, no, not quite. There we are. Right, let's head back. Let's get these boys out of here. Come on. Come on. Open for daddy. Ooh, that was close. That was close. I actually thought I was fucked then. Not the good kind of fucked. Come on. Oh, man. Oof. That was heavy. Right, four more guys to, uh, to save. Now, this is where this level gets quite dodgy because there's enemies on this level which suck. Seriously, guys, these, these, right, you need to kind of be quick here. Those multi, oof, multi cannons there, they're slow, but it only takes one shot to kill you. And it doesn't look like this weapon that I've got is going to hurt these things. And this, this gun is firing very slowly. Oh, no, okay. Okay, it did actually damage that. Which is nice. Really need to take these out. I don't know what this gun is... This, this weapon is doing. It doesn't seem... To, okay. It legitimately does not seem to be doing much. Let's go grab the other weapon. Oof! Threaded that needle, boys. Okay. Yeah, so these, like, weird nuke weapons, I don't know what that's about. Um, they're better. But, what does this weapon do, then? That weapon is just... I don't know. I'm confused. Right, let's go back to this, anyway. Because this actually uh, will do some damage. You have to be quite pinpoint accurate with these, but... Oh, no! <laughs> oh, god damn it. Um, yeah, we're just going to rock these things. I think the best thing to do is try and save the guys further... Further in the level first. Because those guys there are quite easy to save. We can come back for them. Alright. Oh. Didn't even touch the rock. Didn't even touch the rock. I'm just saying. We didn't We didn't even touch it. Did uh, Did not even touch it. Oh. oh. Okay. The trees don't kill you. Which, considering what this game's like, I'm actually surprised about, to be honest. Oof. Okay. Damn it! <sighs> God damn it. I wonder if we can just leave that one there. Trouble is, the second you leave those enemies, they, they, they're they going to roast you. But it's fine, we got this. Actually, we're using an emulator. We can save state. But, I just want to see ugh, if I can finish the game under my own power. Oh, yeah, we destroyed something there. I don't know what. Okay. Um, I... I don't know why we can't destroy those. Alright. I think I might experiment a little bit off, off camera, maybe. I don't know why we can't destroy those. That's so bizarre. Okay. I know you can. But never mind. If that's the way the game's going to be, that's the way the game's going to be. We shall have to do this without destroying them. <sighs> I 
Calm blue oceans. Calm blue oceans. Calm blue oceans. I like the most incompetent helicopter pilot in the world. Okay. Oh! Right, thread the needle. Thread the needle, boys. Thread the needle. Okay. Okay. <sighs> Alright. That's okay. That's okay. Wait! <laughs> Why? Why are we getting destroyed when we're not even anywhere near the, the, the bloody cliff surface? Ah. Uh, man, these old games. The worst thing is, like, man, I used to be able to complete this game when I was a kid, so... Oof. Oofed, 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 oofed. Oofed. Ooh. Let's try going this way. If memory serves, this is actually a better way to go. Charge! It might not be a better way to go. Okay. We've got one life left to do this game. One life, well, one set of credits left. You know what we're going to do? We're going to be dirty. We're going to be dirty because we're so close to the end now. There we go. We've got a save state. We're so close to the end now, boys. All right. <sighs> Come on, we're going to have to pull something out of our ass. I can't remember if I, if I used to be able to complete this game easily. But I definitely remember completing it once or twice. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Let's not waste any time. I don't know why we can't destroy those enemies. Like, I think the hit detection on them is just wonky. Because I know you can. I know... What? But why? <laughs> why do we die? Why? We don't even touch, like... Ah, uh... uh, god damn it. Right, there we go. We can do this. I have every confidence in my own abilities. That's actually a lie, but, you know. Okay, we destroyed one of the guns. So that's the thing that happened. Okay, we destroyed two of the guns. Right, so. <sighs> Is that it? That's it. Alright, guys. That's bullshit. We're going to do this. We got this. We've come too far now to give up. I mean, technically, this was a tries, but I think we can go for completion. Careful now. There we are. The trouble is, oof, the gun that we need to destroy... Oh, come on. Yeah, we got it. We got it. We fragged his ass. Right, we just flattened that thing. Fuck you. Prick. Now, let's be careful here. So I can't remember what's down here. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay. Oof. We're going to have to play yo-yo here. Oh, my God. We just toasted the lot. Ha, 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 ha. Mm-mm. Smelling good. Right, let's pick these dudes up. Get him, boys. So that... Oh, no. That would be six. And we need seven. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Ooh, no. No. Ooh. Holy shit, guys. Them skills. Them non-existent skills. Oh, these little AA nests can kiss my ass. How do you destroy it? Like, seriously. You have to get exactly the right pixel. Oh, no. We've got fire in the hole. Ooh. 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 Oof. 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 Okay. All right, boys. we got this. We are professional. 
professional idiots coming through. Oh, my dudes. My dudes. This is like Grandmaster Sketch right here. Oh, man. <gasps> Base is so close and yet so far. Oh, I bet they're going to be little bastards, aren't they? They're going to put some uh, enemies right in our way somewhere. Just take it slow. Just take it slow, bro. Take it slow. Don't rush. Don't rush. We've got this. We've got plenty of time. Hey, boys. Yeah. Come on. Get in. Whew. Now we just got to make it back. And that's the trouble. We've got plenty of time to do this. Thread that needle. Come on. Yeah. We are a professional pilot. We totally didn't... Ooh. Jeez. We totally did not just uh, graduate from flight school. Nah, what are you talking about? I don't have to sit here and take those allegations from you. There we go. Professional. I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> God damn it, game! Why? Why you do this? Like, why? Why is it so hard? Uh, it's not actually that hard, to be honest. It's just the controls. The controls are AIDS. I'm kind of getting used to it a little bit, though. You, you can kind of throw this thing around a little bit. Uh, okay. Come on. Oof. Come on. Come on. There we go. Right, flattened it. So we're going to go in this way. Let's try this one. Oh, God. Oh, okay. I actually think we can do it by going into that one. I think that's going to be our, our saving grace there, guys. Honestly. I don't know how many dudes are down there. But there should be enough. But I definitely think that's where it's at. Because oh, if we rush that gun. Come on. Man, I'm, this is intense. This is in old school bloody Sega, man. Okay, cool. Right, let's rush that gun. The thing is, we need to cherry pick it on the way through. Oh no, they shot, they both shot at once. <sighs> and we're back to game over. Right guys, give me a second, give me a second. I'm gonna record, I'm gonna record the winning run. And I don't believe it guys, after about 10, 15 minutes of trying. We've done it, finally. Oh, that was annoying. But surprisingly fun and rewarding. Hmm. And that's the game finished. We've got a heli bonus. Wow. That was quite interesting. I wasn't really expecting to ever complete a game during one of these tries, but there we go. And there's our happy little helicopter fucking off into the distance with explosions behind it. Beautiful. Um, mm, interesting game, going back to it. Uh, I don't think it really held up that well. I think there are much better versions of this type of game. I mean, it wasn't bad. Um, the, the helicopter response was... Well, the response to the controls was not good. And I think one of the biggest problems with it was the fact that your weapons just don't work sometimes. Uh, sometimes they fire, sometimes they don't. And the amount of times you die because your weapons don't fire is a, is a lot, uh, turns out, especially on the last level. But it's a short game. Uh, it's fun to qu uh, quickly grab and play, I suppose. I mean, I've got about 
40, 50 minutes, nearly an hour's worth of enjoyment out of it. So, uh, yeah, I mean, it's alright. It's worth a look if you like these sort of things. But yeah, I guess that's, uh, that's Air Rescue. Um, a ripoff of uh, Choplifter, as presented by Sega. On my first ever games console, that was mine. Hmm. So guys, thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. And as always, till next time.